I hope beautiful strangers are welcome to Cat Reacts. I'm Cat and I react to mostly old films. Just depends on what you guys want me to react to. Today I am going to react to a film that has been repeatedly requested. Now I don't know if it's like one person requesting it on multiple videos of mine or if it's like many people requesting it all the time. But I keep seeing the same request for Babe in the City. And I don't know why, to be honest. Um, I liked the first one. I liked... Babe, um, the original one. Two reasons why I have not chosen to watch this one, well, up to this point, is because one, it is about a pig in the city, but it's ultimately about a pig. And two, sequels rarely tend to do well. So, I am not quite sure what to expect with this one. However, because I've been seeing this comment repeatedly, I thought, okay, okay, you know, this person, if it's a one person, if it's only one person, that person really clearly wants me to watch this. If it's multiple people, then great, then that must mean that there's something, you know, okay with this film, I guess. I am willing to give it a try. I'm willing to see what it's all about. So if you guys want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about, then great, hop on, and let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I remember the end of the last film, he won the sheepdog competition. So he is the best sheepdog in all the land, except he's a sheep pig, which is amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, hello, the pig gets its own parade. And here I am, the queen of my own universe, and I've never gotten a parade. Guess I need to win a sheepdog contest to get my own parade. I'm jealous of a pig, guys. Just gotta put it out there, I'm jealous of a pig. Oh no! Who would do such a thing? That's cruel! <laughs> now that's more like it. Show us the pig! Show us the pig! The deeds of the farmer and his remarkable pig became renowned even in distant lands. Invitations came from all over to open fairs, to demonstrate sheep herding, and indeed to meet a queen. Wow. Yeah, I clearly need to go and win a sheepdog contest. I get to meet a queen if I do so. Or be locked up in a mental asylum. But I will at least get the recognition and maybe a parade. Before long, two men showed up. Two men in suits. It's never a good sign when two men in suits show up at a farm. Never. Such men could have come from only one place, the bank. Yep, that's what I said. Look at this beautiful farm. I would give anything to be able to live there. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, Mr. Father Hargan. Yeah, Hargan. Guest appearance for your pig. Sheep herding demonstration. A generous appearance fee. Oh, Arthur! Arthur! A generous appearance fee! Look! Pig! 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 Come, dear. You're being called. Babe. Babe's not here. Babe, the boss is about to lose the farm. We'll all be sent away. And there's no telling where we'll end up. Not every human is as kind as ours. But what can I do? Most likely they'll want you to herd sheep. You can't leave. He can't leave. You're my lucky pig. Pig! Honey, just go inside the barn and look. I must be off then. He's my lucky pig. My good luck pig. My Well, well without him, I, I'm dead. Ferdinand, sweetie, shush. Nobody likes you. I do. But nobody else. Can you come with me, Fly? I wish I could, dear. But it's you they want. Yeah, but why can't you just accompany him? You're a brave pig. More often than not in this uncertain world, fortune favors the brave. I'm off. She's off to conquer the world, this woman. She's being brave. Don't worry, Arthur. I won't let anything happen to your pig. <laughs> There's something so funny about this woman. I don't know what it is. The pig and the farmer's wife ventured into the larger world. situation have you gotten yourself into now? Oh, he's flying? I thought this was like the city where you just like drove to the city. Are they going to another state or something? Or another country? <laughs> Ferdinand, sweetie, don't do this. You're gonna end up chopped in the, uh, the repellers. Excuse me, but I was wondering... Hey, look, pal, I'm busy. Oh, well, I seem to have lost my human Hey, hey, passion. hey, I'm working here. Capiche, comprende? I'm a sniffer, you see. A fully qualified, triple certificated sniffer. 
Oh. When you sniff the right smell, you know what happens? Do you? Do you? <laughs> you jump up and down and go berserk. I get big rewards. Rewards? Sure. Watch this. <laughs> we got one. Is he getting babe into trouble? Is May Cordelia Hargett? Thank heaven. Look, my peg still hasn't come through, and I've only got 15 minutes to make flight FF115, and I've still got to get all the way across to the other terminal. But there's no point in me going without the blessed pig. Ma'am, we have the pig. Oh, well, let's get a wriggle on then. Poor Arthur would be utterly devastated. We have reason to believe you may be carrying illegal substances on your person. Please step into the cubicle oh. and remove your clothes. Pardon? Does she look like a person who would be a drug smuggler? She's like a granny, for God's sake. She's traveling with a pig. They had missed their all-important connection. And to make matters worse, they were obliged to wait some days for the next flight home. They were stranded. You don't take pets. But he's just a little pig. Well, it's more of a dog, really. But he's practically human. Excuse me. Fleeland's Hotel, a few blocks south. You'll be welcome there. Oh. Esme Hoggett studied the face of the stranger and wondered what could have provoked his unexpected act of kindness. Um, I don't mean to be a judgmental bitch here, but this is unique. I'm not gonna judge. I mean, people look the certain way. I mean, 8 billion people on this planet and we don't all look the same, thankfully. This is definitely unique. <laughs> this is a hotel I would want to stay at. This is wonderfully weird. It's so strange. Or not. Oh, I need a room for myself and uh, the uh, we pig. Are you crazy? Edibles in here. What makes you think we take animals? Oh, but, but I... What kind of an establishment do you think this is? Well, it isn't. Am I one to break the law? Absolutely not. Honey, I would not trust this. Walk away. How long did you want to stay? Two days. Will an attic room do? Well, I thought oh, that you... that was just for the name. <laughs> Is he house trained? Oh, yes. Just like you and me. Oh. What is that, a canine? Huh? A canine? Oh, puppy dog? Fleetly, come back. We don't know where it's been. Hey, you got no business being on this floor, you got that? No felines on this floor. Sweetie, is this difficult for you? Oh, I'm thinking of doing this. I'm, I'm thinking of starting to travel with my, my husband, like a photo of my husband, in a frame and everything. Yeah. Stay, Peggy. Stay. Babe looked out across this vast habitat and wondered when he would see his first sheep. Then the thought occurred to him, maybe it wasn't sheep herding. Maybe something else was required of him. Can I help you? Hey! He's stealing? They got a thieving monkey. Not all that surprised. Oh, is that the loose of the boss is like? Hey, that, come back! <laughs> hey, well, hey, slow down. If you're not a cat, stay at chat. I'm so sorry. Ah. Open up, please. I love how polite he is. That's so sweet. Oh. You got a problem, sweetie? Yes, I do. What happened to you? What is this? Guys, I am not about to handle a chimp prostitute, okay? There is a limit to how weird things can get. This is about it. This is on the line. Uh, Who is it, honey? Oh, I'd like the bag back, please. <laughs> hey, Pinkness. Look at the little guy. You want to break his heart? But it doesn't belong to him. Who's to say it belongs to you? I'm not leaving without the bag. Uh, I may be small, but I can be ferocious. Yeah, you can be feisty. Guys, this is weird. And what have we here? We're in a negotiation with this naked pink individual. This is an omnivorous mammal, the order Unglata. What do we have here, a orangutan? I'm a sheep pig, and I've been sent to save the farm, and, 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 and if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Yeah, pig talks some sense. Oh my god, I am lost for words. Uncle Fugly! Uncle Fugly! 
There's been a theft upstairs, can you imagine? Uncle Fugly, as in Uncle Ugly? Let's just call him Uncle Ugly. Why? Because he's stealing the pig. That makes him ugly. Perhaps we should call the police. No, no. No police. No authorities. Heaven forbid it would be the end of this place. Surely you understand. Well, maybe that's for the best, considering how the animals are treated. The pig? I can't go home without the pig. <laughs> Oh my god, what is going on? I'm not 100% sure what is going on in this film, but for the sake of the person who requested this film, I'm gonna keep going. Pig! Pig! Who are you calling a pig, lady? Not you. A another pig. Get in here! Get in here! Yeah, I never mess with a lady who works on a farm. Ever. I grew up with a bunch of them. You don't mess with them. Oh dear. Okay, so they're circus animals. That's no better. Babe? Show business may not be as honorable a profession as sheep herding. But the pig was willing to endure the ridicule if it would help put things right back at Hoggart Hollow. But it won't. And the animals had told him if all went well, there would be big rewards. I gotta get going now. How do I collect my reward? I told you stay under the table. Yep, okay. Oh. Ah! <laughs> this is what you get for keeping animals for show. I despise that. No. I'm a grandmother! Somebody help! There is no reward, is there? This is the city. All you got is this actual noun. This, the past is gone and is for the future. Yeah, no guarantees, my little pork pie. I'm not a pork pie. Whatever you say, cute pie. I'm not any kind of pie. I'm just a pig on a mission. Yeah. It's tough if you're a pig alone in the city. Where was the boss's wife? He could barely remember the face of his beloved boss. These mice are fantastic. What? Is that Uncle Ugly? <sighs> well, he shouldn't have stolen that pig and kept those animals, for sure. I will always, always, always advocate for the animals. I will. Just yesterday, I visited a donkey sanctuary, and it just it made me so happy to know that these donkeys had been rescued and were now living at a sanctuary and living their best life. This guy's just, he had it coming, I'm sorry. No, you know what? I'm not even sorry. Are we okay, Thelonious? I couldn't wake him. I tried, but he wouldn't wake up. Thelonious, let him be. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Ferdinand, honey, what are you doing? Yeah, just drop me off. Uh, yeah, right here will be fine. <laughs> uh, thanks for the ride, pal. Farewell, noble duck. I still think he's a goose. Because to me, ducks look like this. And geese look like this. I still think he's a goose. <laughs> Pig. <laughs> Pig. By nightfall, all Babe's concerns, all the troubled voices in his head, were drowned out by one insistent moan. Food. Anybody got any food? Yeah, we got a carpet here with some nice spaghetti stains. But we can't keep licking the carpet, can we, Alan? No, Nigel. The food! The food! We have no food! What's up with the cats? Why are they singing in choirs? I know where there's food are plentiful. Wait a minute! Where's the food? I have to eat. Yeah, go pork and eat. What can you do? You don't even have any hands. Uh, I can hurt sheep. Go home, sweetie. You're making a spectacle of yourself. What, and you're not? You're dressed as humans. You're chimpanzees. I'm thinking I might have some of those sheep for him to herd. Right here is where they keep the sheep. They're in there. Where do you want me to herd them? That's up to you. Just keep them occupied till we get the necessaries. Okay, dog. Anybody home? Oh god. They're gonna rip him to shreds, aren't they? You must have a very thin grasp on reality. Just looking for some sheep. 
going on in that place. Hortense, you'll miss the aria. Yeah, Hortense, listen to your husband. Plus, whatever's going on in that building does not concern you. That's, you know, across the water. How can a pig outrun a dog? Is that a thing? Well, those dogs aren't alive anymore. I know I say I always advocate for the animals, and I do. But it's the same with animals as humans. These are evil dogs. They are evil. And they deserve what's coming to them. Now, still not, they're still dogs. It's, it's difficult, it's difficult. <laughs> See, I knew it was coming, it still scared me. <laughs> Babe! Something broke through the terror. Flickerings, fragments of his short life, the random events that delivered him to this, his moment of annihilation. Babe turned to his attacker, his eyes filled with one simple question. Why? Yeah, maybe not stop to ask a lunatic why. They don't know why, they're just driven by hatred. Dog is gonna hang himself. Why are we watching a dog drown? What is the appeal of this? Oh! Those orangutans and chimpanzees, they're just selfish as hell. They're just not doing anything. This is all just a show for them. Maybe they deserve to be in the show business. I am so messed up. <laughs> oh, now you show up? <laughs> kind sir, can you help me? I have been cruelly cast out and have nowhere to go. Oh, but how? Please, please. I know you're different from the others. But where's your human? My humans belong to someone else now. I, I, I never ever had a human. I'm hungry. My human tied me in a bag and throwed me in the water. My tummy hurts. This is so sad. See, this is why I don't go to shelters, because I would want to take them all home with me. I cannot. Watch animal in distress. I just cannot. And knowing that there are animals out there on the street that someone has just heartlessly and, and just cruelly thrown away, it, just, it breaks my heart. I cannot do this. This is a tough one, guys. I'm... We are the excluded and have nowhere to go. It is nice and warm inside. Not a good idea. You'll bring all manner of trouble. If we all went inside uh, and we all line up, uh, I'm sure there'll be enough to go around. You're talking as if you're the word around here. Well, he did save that dog when you just stood around and did nothing. You were willing to let him drown. I'd say he is. Whatever the pig says, goes. Still just a pig. Yeah, but a pig with attitude, and he's the boss now. Well, fluff my fur. This recalls the glory days when I was dizzy with privilege. I want you to have this collar. That's not necessary. Yes, it is. I have a professional obligation to be malicious. Uh, then you should change jobs. No, I can't. It's in the bloodline, you see. Should I have let you drown? Most would have. If you were to wear my color, it would honor me. An orangutan feeding a fish. Never seen that before. It is the creed that all cats and dogs put aside their instinctive and fanatical abhorrence of each other. All creatures, great and diminutive, shall be of equal stature with rights to liberty and justice that nobody can deny, and so say all of us. My tummy feels all thingy. What? What's wrong? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't you end? Oh, no. 
No. Holy crap, those are little aliens. Is this how chimpanzee babies look like? Cute, I, I, I guess. They're cute. I'm an uncle. Twice. Congratulations, Mom. Look at that little face. If I had words, I'd sing a day for you. La, 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 la. Oh shoot, I've forgotten about Ferdinand. Pig. Pig. Now Hortense is bound to say something. She is about to march over there and report the hell out of this house. God, Roger! The place is teeming! I knew it, I knew it. Swear I've never seen this film before, bro. It was just a given. Oh, Ferdinand! Oh, Birdie! Give us a peck, come on, pig. Kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> What's going on here? Look different. This place can really take it out of you. Hey, I'm with my pig. My lucky, lucky pig. Oh. Oh, oh, no. Hortense actually called the police. The carrots, they're everywhere. Man, it's gonna be a real busy night. Ooh, we'll bite my tail. Don't, don't go there. Pig, let's go home. <laughs> Why are there humans in the world who care so little about animal lives? Why do these people exist? How? He has babies. <laughs> Flea-lick! Flea-lick! Flea -lick. Hey, get a load of this. He needs water! I am sincerely hoping that this film will improve. Because so far, my blood is boiling. And I am so mad, I am so upset, and I am not having a good time. Hate animal cruelty. I don't like it when humans exist that hurt animals. But I just, I don't like that I have to coexist with them. He saved the fish! Okay, okay, some redeeming qualities here. Where the hell did the monkey get a gun? What is that? Get out of here. What are we gonna do with that? Come on, let's go! Dog, let go. <laughs> this film is brutal. This film is so not what I thought it was gonna be. It's a... and it's a beautiful day outside. I'm just I'm too upset to enjoy it. Fleelick, uh, can you can you hear me? <laughs> okay, okay. Woo. Feel it good. Feel it, Peppy. What can you possibly do? What can anyone do? Why even try? He, he's me at this moment. Would you help me off with this, please? Oh, 
Oh, he's not a criminal. <laughs> dead, dead. I knew it. They're all dead. They're not dead. Well, let's go get them. Hey, look. Hey. Hey, look. If we get caught, we won't be able to help anybody. I said to myself, Esme, you have let Arthur down, you have let yourself down, and you have let the pig down. I said, the Esme, judge had Esme, never heard anyone speak so many words in so short a time. He grew up on a farm and had a fondness for pigs. Oh, you can bind me in chains. That's the weird stranger from the airport. Okay. Why don't you direct them, though, to this weird hotel? Case dismissed! Hello? It's the pig. All right. Oh, I knew he'd come. We have to be quiet. I'll go lock up. All right. Yeah, they're definitely not taking these animals for shelter. We split into two groups. The fast ones come with me. The slow ones stay behind it and sacrifice themselves. Ferdinand. Well, that way we don't all die. Where's the longest? What are you doing? I'm not dressed. You're in a ring of thingy. Time to go. This is insanitary. Oh, boy. He's gonna get them all killed because he can't go out undressed. Quick, go back! Go back! Oh, no, 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 no. Yep, you can thank the orangutan for this. Hello? What is this stuff that fell on her glue? Oh no. What's going on? What happened? I thought I could make a place where we would all be okay, but how can you do that here? Why couldn't they just leave us be? Because there are lots of evil people in this world. We have a Karen pandemic. You're living next to one. Clothes. Got anything that'll fit me? <laughs> where are our animals? Just don't walk in the park. Oh. Just try and use all of your legs. In this whole wide world, is there anywhere that's truly safe? For my baby, there is a place I know. <laughs> that is a woman on a mission. Do not cross her. Hello. 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 Uh, we're looking for um, some animals. What kind? Pig, cats, dogs, monkeys. Just the whole works. <laughs> What are you serving? Ew! Beta fun. Oh, wow. Oh, what a surprise. I adore surprises. Good for you. That's a major one. Surprise! <laughs> They're so feisty. They're small but mighty. I used to have one. My goodness grief. I thought he was insane. I really did. If you ever see a chihuahua, you think, oh, what a cutie. No, they're vicious. Don't ever underestimate a chihuahua. I am Esme Cordelia Hoggett, and I've come for my Arthur's pig. <laughs> to be the actress that did that stunt. I would have loved to do this. Bunchy jumping around a room. Sounds amazing. <laughs> She's gonna blow. Come on, Pink! Come on! He can't climb. <laughs> <laughs> she 
She got the pig. <laughs> and the end. Bravo. So a spectacular show. Well, that's an evening nobody's gonna forget. I'm telling you guys, parties like this are way too stiff. They need something like this. <laughs> I think I dropped a baby. What do you mean you dropped a baby? I must have dropped the other baby. Oh, Zodi. <laughs> See, that's a mother with her babies. It's like a human mother with her babies. Thank you. Thank the pig. Pig! You get here now! Not with him. He just saved a baby and all the animals and everything. So it was the hotel was rented out, and this provided for a curious arrangement. Roger! This is what you get for being a jerk. You should have let those animals be. The money from the hotel allowed the Hoggets to keep the farm from the bank. And so it was the pig brought the two worlds together. I love a happy ending. I really, really do. The chimpanzees left show business behind and were able to be chimpanzees. The air agreed with them immeasurably. Fleelik found the pace too slow and took to chasing trucks. <laughs> The thing between the pit bull and the pink poodle didn't last. She ran off with another dog and left him with the kids. Come oh. on, kids, you warriors, give me your snarl. But Dad, do we have to? Oh my goodness. As for the orangutan, he insisted on staying at the farmhouse with herself. The pig and the farmer were content again in each other's company. And things were back to where they started, more or less. He fixed it. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Steady heart. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, that was me watching a babe in the city, or pig in the city, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. It was an okay film, however, I cannot get past how upset it made me and how just mad I was because if there's anything in this world that gets my blood boiling is animal abuse, children abuse as well, but just dogs, for example, their whole life purpose is to make you happy. Like, they don't know anything else that, uh, except that you're happy and if you're not and you're mistreating them, they don't know what they did wrong. I just love animals more than anything in this world. Like, I would choose animals every time over a human. That, that's just a fact. Like, my dream life is to live with my family and friends and choose tons of animals. I don't need all the, the 8 billion people in the world. It's just, I don't. Maybe I'll leave out, like, 1 billion because there are kind people in this world as well. There are far too many who are just completely content with hurting animals, keeping them in cages, experimenting on them. It just makes no sense to me whatsoever. So, in that sense, I'll have to give this film a 3.5 out of 5. I cannot give it a full score because it just, it bothered me too much. It really, really, really did. Maybe that was the purpose. Maybe it was meant to show us, like, the cruel reality of it. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like this video and also hit the subscribe button if you want to no be notified whenever I upload. And also share this video with everyone you know so we can bring more people on this journey of ours of discovering all these great films. I'll see you in the next video.